Welcome to the Homestead Miami Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Homestead 400. I'm here with Barney Hall. NASCAR ran its first race here in 1999. What do you think of this track? Well, these flat wide tracks don't allow for much passing. The problem is that the corners have so little banking that these cars never can really gain any speed or momentum to make a pass. Running out front is where you want to be all race long if you can. Dale Jarrett is in the top five in points so far this season. He just needs to keep digging like he has been. Sometimes when drivers reach the top five in points, they start to push themselves too hard on race day and wind up losing spots instead. I'm sure he doesn't want that. An impressive average finish record for Tony Stewart. Yeah, and I'm sure he's in for another great ride. Of course, what else is new? When we're at these tracks, he always seems to have a great race. What's up guys, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2002 that's playing for the season finale here in Homestead for the Pencil, for the Homestead 400. Jeff Gord ended the race with a 163 point lead over Tony Stewart, 164 behind us. Jimmy Johnson, all the pole once again, Greg Biffle. On row, on the outside of row one, row two. Casey Atwood, we qualified fourth for today. In row three are Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart. In row three. Of course, we're bound Tony Stewart for that second spot in points. Texas Terry Labonte, Matt Kenseth in row four. And right at the top ten, Robbie Gordon and Mark Martin. In the final, we'll go ahead and let the field play through for the season finale. Jeff Purvis, Rusty Wall is the row six. And we'll let you guys look at the final starting order of the season. In row seven are the Valvoline Pontiac and the Sprint Dodge. Jeff Gordon, the NASCAR Winston Cup points leader, will start towards the front. 16 for Jeff Gordon. Row, we have the Sitco Ford and the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge. In the 10th row are the America Online Chevrolet and the 25 car. Starting the race from row 11 are the Cheerios Dodge and the Ganassi Racing Dodge. The 12th row has the Dale Jr. Chevrolet and the GM Goodrich Service Plus Chevrolet. Starting the race from row 13 will be the Square D Chevrolet and the 15 car. In row 14, we have the 97 car and the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge. Starting from row 15 will be the Kodak Chevrolet and the 26 car. The 16th row are the Caterpillar Dodge and the 46 car. In the 17th row are the Motorcraft Ford and the 23 car. In the 18th row are the Haviland Ford and the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Starting the race from row 19 are the 63 car and the 36 car. The 20th row has the Pennzoil Chevrolet and the Tide Ford. Starting the race from row 21 will be the 98 car and the 27 car. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the Bam Racing Dodge. All right, guys. There's your starting lineup for the season finale. Jimmy Johnson leads the field to the green flag. Jeff Gordon, 26 laps away for the championship.
contact from Ryan Newman. Not very happy with Ryan Newman there. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Robbie. Three wide for fourth. Back to where we started the race. The race leader's got three seconds on you.
Stewart looking for battle, looking for second underneath Ryan Newman. He's got it. Final pit stops over the season. Okay, you got it. Did we really lose ground? <laughs> I think we did. Caution flag is out. Caution flag is out here in Homestead. Oh, somebody got jacked up. Kurt Bush in trouble. Cop Petty in trouble. Oh, Kurt trying to get on pit road. Jimmy Murray, Kurt Bush in trouble. We're gonna restart at 11th. With seven laps to go of the season. Leaders running about two and a half seconds in front. Number 16 wants to get by you. Number 24, sound like. Still there. He dropped it back. What's wrong? 
Wow, that car was so loose. Jeff Gordon, six laps away for the championship. Caution flag is out. This is the race for the championship. Jeff Gordon out in front of Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon's gonna win the championship. Nothing we can do. We're gonna finish third in the final standings. We're gonna finish ninth here in Homestead. As the caution flag ends the season. Oh, debris from the 23. Caution flag. And the race ends in checkers. Sterling Marlin gets the win. Final championship ends with the caution flag. Very many caution laps in this one. Well, that was Two cautions on the day. More cautions. There's a contact between me and Ryan, Ryan Newman. More chances for you to lose positions. Dale Jarrett really did a fantastic job keeping his car away from trouble all race long. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen in these NASCAR and Winston Cup races. When you finish a race and your car still looks brand new, you've done one heck of a job as a driver. We're out of time here at MRN. We hope you enjoyed today's race, and we'll see you next time. Hard fall battle. We tried so hard to get to Tony Stewart. <laughs> Just didn't really have the bet. We had an okay car. Not the, not the best car. Starling Martin wins the final race of the season. Starling Martin wins. Great run for Ryan Newman. Strong run for Michael Waltrip. Jerry Nadeau as well. Jeff Gordon. Gets another top five on this season. Just when you think Gordon's done, Gordon's there collecting another strong finish. Crazy. Well, oh. <sighs> so incredible season. So. We look at all the. <coughs> We're gonna look at all the season stats. Here in NASCAR Thunder 2003, what a year! What a wild season! Jimmy Johnson with eight poles on the year, easily had the most poles. 
we had 12 wins on the year, but those early half few races, the bad luck at Darlington early in the year, uh, Mark, for sure Martinsville, um, had some bad luck races as well. Early in the season, he didn't have good refreshes to make those 12 wins really matter the most. Just working with four wins. Top fives. Yeah, me and Jeff Gordon, 17 apiece. There's also where your big discrepancy is from us. 21 top 10s, 29 for Jeff Gordon. You only finished outside the top 10 seven times on the season. Average would start. Jeff Gordon, or Jimmy Johnson, my bad, had the best start. Average finish. And there you go. 7.6 for Jeff Gordon. I led the most laps this year with 177 laps. Jeff Gordon with 105. 20 the fastest lap of the year. Tony Stewart actually... Him, Matt Kins has completed all the laps, I believe, of this season. What a year. So, Jeff Gordon's your champion. 168 points ahead of Tony Stewart. We finished third, 181 back. Jimmy Johnson, 498. Rusty Wallace, 502. That's your top five for the championship. You got Matt Kenseth, 513, Ricky Rudd, 545, 562 for Mark Martin, 633 for Bobby Labonte, and Ryan Newman, 680. Sorry, Martin, although he had four wins, struggled quite a bit. Shana Robinson, the final driver. We got the season started. Look at every race. We won the Daytona 500. Bobby Labonte won Rockingham. Jeff Gordon went on that tear. Jimmy Johnson won in Darlington. Rusty Wallace, Bristol. Sterling Martin, Texas. Of course, that's the race we got the DNF. We won Talladega. Joe Jr. won the 600. We won Dover. Won in Michigan, Dell Jr. won in Athenion, Ricky Rudd won at Daytona, we won at Chicagoland, New Hampshire, Gordon won in Pocono, Chip Burton won in Brickyard, we won walking against Glen by staying out, saving fuel, we won in Michigan, Bristol Martin got the win, Ricky Rudd won Darlington, we won Richmond, New Hampshire, Dover when we went three in a row, closing in for the championship. Sterling Martin, Jeff Burton won at Talladega on the last lap after a mirror drive trying to block Ward Burton, both Burton brothers, but I block Ward, but it cost us the race. Sterling Martin won Charlotte. We won, we survived Martinsville. Ricky Rudd wins Atlanta. Tony Stewart wins Rockingham. Kurt Busch wins Phoenix, and Sterling Martin is your season finale winner. Ford wins the Manufacturers Championship. I win the most laps. Great year. It's been all fun. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you guys for NASCAR Thunder 2004 for the next live Let's Play in the near future. Love you guys. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.